A couple weeks ago, I posted a video to my Instagram where I essentially admitted to tracing. And while others were praising me and agreeing they do the same, some people weren't on the same page. What are they called again? Annulax batteries. Arbulary batteries. That's nothing like what I just said. Admittedly, the video was really fast, and I don't think I properly explained myself, so I thought I'd make a full-length video about it to really talk about it. But first, I want to clear up any misunderstandings. Stealing art and claiming that art as your own is bad. Do not do this. Do not trace someone's art and say that it's yours. That is bad. This is not what I'm talking about. Now you're probably asking, okay, if you didn't mean that, what are you talking about? And that's because when I say tracing, I mean using it as a learning tool. Honestly, I don't think I'd have half the skills I do today if I didn't trace as a beginner artist. I'm going to give you an example because I think showing and not telling is better in this situation. First, I take a photo, specifically ones that are meant to be used as bases or references. I block over it trace out the main outline shapes and core details. Really just feeling how exactly it all comes together. I make sure I have the head proportions right. I make sure the collarbones are in the right place. I make sure that the curve of motion is right. I make sure it all looks good and it has a center of gravity. Is it symmetrical whenever you flip the canvas? Then after I block it out, I take that traced image and redraw it. Then after that, I'll draw over that sketch as if it was a, just a normal sketch. Editing Honey here, I'd like to mention that Ross Draws is actually a good example of a professional artist who does this. Here's a video of his art process. This isn't how he usually draws, it's just a tool that he's been seen to use in the past, be it for fun, though it can also be used for learning purposes. From there you can change the pose, proportions, to fit your art style. And not only does it help you learn, but it also saved me a lot of time whenever I was sketching over and over again. Just with time, I was able to really understand how each body part was broken down into simpler shapes and how to recreate those shapes. And I'm able to do so without tracing. You can even take photos of yourself and trace over them. That way you don't have to worry about crediting others when you do trace. I actually do this a lot, especially with hands. And yeah, sure, I do this mainly with poses because anatomy is hard, as you know, but I've also used this learn how to draw inanimate objects. I'll take a picture of my room to get the right perspective of things. I'll take a picture of my phone so I can draw a phone. There's so much potential in this, especially when you're first learning how to draw. And I think that it's crazy to kind of gatekeep this and consider this, oh, it's bad because it's tracing. The only thing that that's accomplishing is scaring artists away from using this tool and improving their art, taking it to the next level, and I think that that's wrong. You may not agree with me on this, but don't break down other artists just because they do. On that video, I got a lot of really nice comments talking about how they commend me for talking about this when so many people called them fake artists, terrible people. I didn't care if they called me that, though I did get lots of comments like that. Because I want new artists to feel comfortable using all the tools that are available to them. I also want to mention that using assets are also great. Don't feel bad, don't feel like you're cheating because you're using assets. If they help you draw or even help you save time, that's Great! Some people in the comment sections even talked about how they think references are bad, but they completely forget that even in the beginning of Tom, the greatest artists in the world use references. 
Why do you think they had someone sit there while they drew them? That person sitting there was their reference. I don't think I could draw the Eiffel Tower without looking at it. So, references aren't bad either. Okay, do not listen to anybody who says otherwise. They're not bad. They're great. Use references. In fact, it's honestly kind of bad to not use references. You won't improve, or even if you do improve, you won't improve as fast as other artists who are using references. So use them, please. Now that I've explained everything and got that out of the way, I want to talk about someone who commented on the videos. Obviously, I had a lot of mixed opinions. Some were agreeing with me, others were disagreeing. But there was one in particular who was really passionate about tracing being bad. Let's just put it that way. And now I'm all about difference of opinions, but what I do not like is when people slander others and call them slurs just because of a difference of opinion. She was trying to slander me and tear me down, which, you know what, that's fine. But she was doing that to other artists who agreed, calling them every name under the sun, and basically, it was terrible. And she was talking about how all the other artists who agreed with me would never be as good as the artist as her. And I think that every artist is a good artist, except for those who tear down others. So the only bad artist in that comment section was her. Even the people who disagreed with me, they were good artists, you know, they just don't agree with my practices. I just wanted to bring some light onto that situation because I feel like that's really common where if you don't like their art or disagree with something, they're automatically a terrible artist. That's not the case. She eventually ended up blocking me because myself, along with a bunch of other artists, were calling her out on her bad behavior, but I want to read some of these comments. I want to preface that I do not want you to go and harass her because that would be defeating the purpose, okay? I don't want anybody to harass anybody, especially just over a simple difference of opinion. Um, so I think she deleted these comments, so don't even try to go look for her. Um, I just so happened to take a picture of some. You have no talent if you trace, babe. Plain and simple. Get good R-word. At least attempt, you know, instead of just using a base as a quote-unquote drawing tool. Because it ain't an everyday tool. It's a learning source for really shitty artists. Your art is so trash, bro. That's the point. Keep tracing, babe. I mean, mine is good enough to put in murals across Minneapolis, but sure, whatever helps you sleep at night. My art is off the charts compared to y'all's. So imagine being a new artist, brand new to the community, and seeing someone talk like that. I feel like it would leave a bad taste in your mouth at least, if not turn you away from the community completely, and I don't want that. Our community is already undermined and underappreciated by so many people. And with the rise of AI art, it's just going to get worse. So why are artists themselves making the problem worse than it has to be? I think we should support each other. Come together and be an actual community. And for the record, I disagree with what she said. Just because your art is displayed somewhere, like in a mural, it doesn't validate your art being better than somebody's who doesn't have it displayed somewhere. In fact, I think that your actions and morals validate your art more than the art itself. And I think that the worst part of it all is the fact that she's not the only one out there that acts that way as an artist. And that honestly worries me because of how it will affect the art community. I'm so proud to be a member of such an amazing community, but there are some bad apples in there. And I worry that they'll overshadow everyone else for newcomers. Bottom of the line, I think that stealing art is wrong and tracing art is a form of stealing art. And so it's also wrong, but tracing as a learning tool is great. 
And if you're a new artist, you should try it out. It might not work for you and that's fine. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not for everyone, but you should keep your options open when discovering learning tools. And also, we can have difference of opinions, that's fine, but don't slander other artists and call them terrible just because they have a different opinion than yours. Obviously educate them if they're not properly tracing or they're stealing art. Educate them. But don't slander people. Every artist is a good artist unless you have a bad personality and bad morals. Then you're a bad artist. Plain and simple. Whether you agree or disagree, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, that's the end of the video. So please be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I want to give a special shout out to my patrons, Fat Wombat and Rattled the Second.